Oh, I'm sorry, it's on. Okay. Hi, this is Gooey Boy, and I'm here to teach you how to play Tailcraft. Okay, so these are not tarot cards, as people keep asking me. Right? Uh, it's a deck of 82 cards, and it is considered as a writing tool. It's also a game. To play this game, just take these cards out of the box. Okay. Okay. So, tail car, uh, tailcraft is composed of three decks. We have the yellow deck. The key. These are called the keywords. And let me just separate them from the rest of the pack. Okay. Keywords are what you use uh, within the story, right? By the way, you use uh, Tailcraft to make a story out of cards you will get from the deck. Alright, so let's begin. You have yellow cards, which are keywords, and these basically comprise the bulk of your story. You have blue cards, which are genre cards. Uh, archetype cards and they become your characters right and we have what we call the genre cards represented by the red sun okay these are your cards um, that tell you what to write about okay so they can either tell you it's a fantasy or it's uh, gothic or it's a thriller. Okay, so these cards would basically guide you through what you call your plot. Okay, so you arrange them so. Right. You have your red, your blue, and your yellow. You choose one genre card. In this case, it's a mystery. Okay. Mystery. And you choose two blue cards. Basically, one uh, one character becomes your protagonist, and the other character becomes your villain. Okay. In this case, our protagonist is the competent man, just like James Bond or uh, <coughs> MacGyver. So he can do almost anything. Okay. And your villain is your reluctant villain. The reluctant villain starts out as an honest and good character, but turns into a villain due to circumstances he cannot control, just like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And then, you choose six of these keywords, okay? At any given time, you can, you can, uh, you may be able to select a keyword that would say, pick another archetype, or pick another genre or swap one of the cards right okay following keywords blood mirror revenge old photograph sacrifice and blindness okay so these are the keywords that you will use in order to create your story. Okay, so keywords, right? So if you're if you're using it as a writing tool, okay, what you do is you create your own story, write it down. Yeah, you can you can embellish as much as you want, and that's it. However, if you're if you're playing this with your friends, uh, and there is an association or an organization uh, that <coughs> promotes this, uh, sometimes the power of books they would they would uh, organize stuff like this, wherein you have a contest and you pick 
uh, one of these cards, two of these cards, and six of these cards, and create a story in five minutes. So their tagline is one story, nine cards, five minutes. So, um, and that's basically it. You create a story with these cards in about five minutes, and there is a person who judges it, or you get judged by your own peers, and um, and, and then whoever has the best story wins, provided you formulated that story within five minutes. So, anyone wants to play?